The American dream is sought out by many individuals seeking better lifestyles for themselves. There are many definitions of this particular dream, but the most common one is unachievable. It is what most people around the world dream to live but almost never achieve. It encompasses owning large businesses, luxurious cars and houses, traveling to expensive exotic places, owning countless properties, having loads of money and much more. Individuals such as celebrities are actively participating in this lifestyle, which encourages others that they can do the exact same. But in the end, their hopes and dreams will eventually become crushed by what the one and only reality. Today's societal standards of living are extremely expensive, and for immigrants who come to America bearing nothing but a passport and the clothes that they have on their bodies, this dream will eventually become a nightmare. The excessive amount of work needed to sustain oneself is oftentimes unbearable, let alone attempting to start and sustain a family-owned company. To some, the realization that the American dream should not be thought of as tremendously grand hits them and finally understand that the true meaning of it is to come to a land where there is opportunity. Opportunities to live a happier, fulfilled, consistent, and safe life. But to others, the false dream consumes them, just like the protagonist in F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. His hopes for becoming a greater, richer man came true when he luckily found himself holding tremendous amounts of money. By having so much power and fame in the new money society, Gatsby's brain was consumed by a mere three words, bigger, better, grander. The idea of luring his lover into his life by solely using many expensive materials is an example of how one can be easily plagued by the idea of money. Greed, overarching cynicism, and an empty pursuit of pleasure are the main three qualities the newly rich have in, in the novel. The reckless and rowdy nature, as readers can tell by how they act at Gatsby's grand parties, as well as relaxed social values, resulted in the corruption of the American dream, as the unnecessarily excessive need for money and pleasure surpasses true morals. The true mo morals of this dream were all about discovery, individualism, and the quest to happiness. This dream has grown and evolved for years and has given America a true form of patronism. People have given America its meaning and values through their own lives, just like Gatsby gave a significant meaning to Daisy. He implants an idealized perfection on her that she neither has nor deserves. His delusional dream is crushed when he believes he can win her back from her husband solely with materialistic objects. This parallels how the American dream was crushed in the minds of many when individuals realized the dream cannot be attained by unworthy objects. In this intricate novel, the very rich people in society were not the only ones written about. The Valley of Ashes, located between West Egg and New York City, was an important part of society back then, and now. It was described as a long stretch of depressing grey land that was literally a dumping ground for ashes, although the clever author did not include this detail for no reason at all. This poor valley signifies a dumping ground of where all the moral and social decays of the filthy rich were poured. As the rich wallowed in nothing but their happiness, all the obstacles they had to rip apart in order to be satisfied were laid to rest in the Valley of Ashes. The American dream becomes the American nightmare when individuals get engulfed in the wrong reasons of what the definition of these two words mean. Greed, dissatisfaction, and violence takes over their bodies, which in the end lead to catastrophic measures. The pureness and wholesomeness of this dream is what's leading America to thrive towards a better nation.